everybody ready? Here we go. Home stretch, home stretch. All right. Let's do it. Start it up. Get it up. Woo! I'm getting concerned about that whole burning thing. Yeah, we got a fire extinguisher there. I'm ready. Guys, let's, uh, let's just get to uh, our final guest here. Uh, he's a stand-up comedian in New York City. The official warm-up comic for Late Night Jimmy Fallon. He runs one of the best, one of the longest running shows in New York, uh, Sweet, at Ella Lounge on Tuesdays. Please get up for Seth Urza. Seth Urza. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm a little upset. John and Arthur did my whole set I was gonna do tonight. <laughs> like they did every joke that I was gonna do, so it feels a little, a little bit weird. But that's all I brought, so that's what you're gonna get. <laughs> You guys like uh, Jim Carrey? <laughs> because I wrote a bunch of. <laughs> I wrote a bunch of one liners that Jim Carrey would do in some, some movies. I can really put my ass in my ass. Yeah, they did it all. Um, I wrote a play. I love that Jim Carrey thing, that only, that was like the best four hours of comedy I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing went on for so long, and I literally was like, oh, this, the joke is that it's testing your patience. Like, that's the real joke. The joke is that, like, how much can you laugh at it? And the, the returns got seriously diminished after a while if you were uh, judging yourselves. God, that went on, it was funny because it was like, it went on really long, and it was like, oh, that's way old, and then it got really funny again. Like, they're still doing it. <laughs> they're still doing it. Oh, I love this place. Love the band. The band is here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hit me three times! <laughs> Thank you. One guy got on board. <laughs> One guy got on board. Got to be ready for any second someone's going to say that. Come on, guys. Ties and shorts. Uh, you guys can't tell, but the, the worst of the cheap seats, can you see the cheap seats? The worst of the bad seats? They're sitting under the thing called the clown's prayer. They're literally sitting under like the creepiest thing that's written on the wall of this theater. The clown's, the bottom of the clown's prayer, you can't read it. It says, in, in my final moment, may I hear you whisper, when you made my people smile, you made me smile. Ew! I do not want you to whisper that in my final moment of my death. If you whisper, when you made my people smile, you made me smile, I'll say, what do you mean, you people? And then I'll die. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be our final bit. Glad that's framed. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we got a wall chip. What are we going to do with that? I'm hoping that paint came off. Let's just frame it. Let's frame it. In case a basketball game breaks out during the show. My dad's there, I don't know. And the rest of the set is just like, like a Dickens play. <laughs> How long can you hang out there, John? I just enjoy this. <laughs> 
uh, you have a slightly better seat than your girlfriend is sitting behind the piano. Oh, let's give it up for her. Give it up? What's your name, Jerry? Jamie, Jamie. Oh, man. Anyway, um, I'll tell you some funny, funny stories from the, from the uh, show. We, um, we had a camel on stage for a sketch once, and everyone's like, there's a camel here, there's a camel here. So I was like, no fucking way. So I go backstage, there's a giant camel, and everyone on the staff, no joke, everyone was lined up with their cell phones out, in a line, all wanted to take a picture of just the camel's foot. <laughs> that was it. Like, it was the funniest, most original idea anyone's ever had, ever. And they were, were taking a picture of the camel itself, and, and you could feel the camel's eyes rolling back in its head. <laughs> Oh yeah, take a picture of my feet, aren't you? Oh, you're hilarious. Yeah, you're a comic genius. What are you gonna tweet that out, tough guy? Uh, why don't you post it on Facebook and tag your fat friends? You're hilarious. Or I could decide if the camel um, didn't get it. Like why everyone's taking pictures of his camel toes. People are like, he's like, hmm. Americans? Obsessed with my feet? You're crazy! And it wasn't until later on Google when he's like with his hooves. No! No! Okay, I see it. I see it now. That's kind of funny. His camel toes. Um, I do the warm-up every day, and it's, it's an interesting experience. I just talk to the audience, and it's always different people. You never know who's going to be there. But what's funny is people live the stereotype. What's you, when you start talking to someone and you make assumptions about them, 99% of the time, you're always right. And what's funny is I've learned people from Texas are very proud to be from there. doesn't matter. They don't know that everyone else hates them. No idea. <laughs> And whenever I say, uh, who's from far away, and I usually mean outside the country, there's always some girl, some sorority girl, who's like, Dallas! <laughs> like they're doing a cheer every time. And then I talk to people, I talk to people from different countries, and there's always the last person, always, someone goes, Israel. As if that trumps everything. <laughs> like they're waiting to be the last person, like, should I drop a bomb on them? <laughs> Israel, right here. And then they're doing, like, they don't give a sh Israelis don't give a shit. They're putting cigarettes out of people's eyes. They don't fucking care. They don't care. They're, that's awesome. The one of the weirdest times was a one girl, I said, who's from another country, and one girl goes, Palestine. It just, yeah, that happened. It got everyone gasped. It got really real, really fast. And then I'm in a weird position, like, how do I now make fun of you? <laughs> You're from Palestine. So, because like, anything I would say is just ends up dividing the room, you know? Like, even if I go, like, uh, did you, you know, did you, did you have to check your, your bomb vest downstairs? Like, like, exactly. You're like, whoa, you can't say that to people. <laughs> you guys weren't on board. It's, it got really weird. So, I um, just escorted her out slowly. <laughs> No, I know. I said I made her sit her own section. I was like, we own that section, but you're allowed to sit there. <laughs> um, what else? Are we, are we, are we done? I, I guess you got the Okay, yeah, yeah. Th thanks. Are we going to sit? Yeah, we can sit. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. <laughs> You really warmed this thing up. Thank you. Did you fart a lot on this thing? It's burning up. It's really nice anticlimactic end to the set. Well, I don't know. I was like, do I do one more bit? Uh, no, no. You're, uh, you're, you're a pro, Seth. Uh, thanks for doing that. <laughs> Clearly, I can tell like a fucking pro. You're a pro. Yeah. Uh, you, sweet is uh, your yeah. show. Yeah, been doing that show. It's a. Um... <laughs> you know what's funny? Haskell and John are like six year olds. And they, during Shane's, Justin and um, Jen's bit, they spent the whole bit deciding whether they were gonna come out and in interrupt it or not. And I was like, yeah, you should do it, you should do it, you should do it. And now I'm getting payback. 
Yeah. I'm getting payback because they they're, they're, they're literally like little kids little, who have to be have attention on them. They're all little the time. rascals. Little rascalians. Uh, I think more like just just like spoiled nine-year-old girls. Yeah. <laughs> you say that about the men, you, you, you gotta work with them tomorrow. <laughs> I, oh I love those guys. I love yeah, them. No, they're good guys. I make out with them. I think they're the funniest dudes. <laughs> I make out with them all the time. They're adorable. And they're good, they're good kids. They're great kids. Yeah. Well, one's better than the other. More to love. More Arthur's more tender because he had to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you look like Arthur, you have to learn to be a great man. <laughs> he was born that way. <laughs> I keep coming out. Um, uh, I just want to say, you, know, you, you do your show, and yeah. uh, it's been going on for years. It's one of Eight ones. years yeah. next month, yeah. Amazing, yeah. Um, and, you, and your mom... One, one clap. It's a lot of work, people! It's a lot of work! One of the best comics in the world, do yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and, uh, We're getting... Mom, uh, um, Simon Am still from England's going to be yeah. on this week. Eight year anniversary oh, should be? Eight year anniversary will be in September. Oh, okay. Uh, and your mom is on the show. My mom's on the show every week. Uh, she, her mom and I do a, an unrehearsed bit called What's on My Mom's Mind. Because I write a new set every week at the beginning. I write a new sketch or two. And then I didn't want to write a third segment that was new every week. So I was like, why does your mom just come out and talk and I'll just make fun of her. And that'll be new every week because we won't plan it. It's you perfect. Know. I got my dad. I got my uncle here tonight. You got dad, your dad's here? Yeah, I wonder where you got that idea from. Yeah, uncle. <laughs> I just kind of sat here. I didn't, get, I didn't get a sketch. I didn't get a new line. You got you got to get enough of that. I should be on your show. Like you should. I would actually use you. <laughs> um, um, Joe Franklin showed up at my show. Did he? Oh my god! Yeah. Joe Franklin showed up years ago, and I had my mom and him had an old off. I just asked them like trivia from like the thirties or forties, and every and it's so funny because every single every single question they both went, "Oh, I used to know this. I knew this back in the day." They couldn't answer one question, but they almost knew every single one. <laughs> it was so funny. It couldn't have, couldn't have worked out better. Sign me up. I'm ready. You ready? You want to say? I'm uh, just turned uh, sweet 61. 61? Yeah. 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 You're a sick kid. You're a sick kid. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to check. Feel good? Do you, are you like a, a, a workout guy? Do you well, work out? I, I'm very much, yes. You can tell very fast. Yeah. 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 I, like old guy, I, I run, I run, I, I, I skip, and things like you that. Skip. Yeah, well, yeah, you skip? Yeah, uh, skip. One of those uncles. <laughs> so, uh, I had one of those uncles. I gotta say, I'm a, I'm a funny uncle, not a funny uncle. All right, so, so, You're a funny uncle. Which one's in quotes? <laughs> <laughs> the second one, right. The second one. But it's funny like ha ha? But it's funny like funny. Yeah, let's, let's just think. <laughs> See, in New York, funny uncle just means you're gay. But funny uncle means you do comedy. I want to say, yeah. uh, never touch me. They're very proud of that. My uncle Steve never touched me. Yes. Never touch me. Never touch me. Well, I changed your diaper once a long time ago, so that would be good. You remind me, baby. It could be some repressed memories today. Let's. Uh, <laughs> did you give a little extra love? Me? Let's nip this in the butt. I have lots of love for Scott. He's a, yeah. good, he's a good little guy. Nice. Way to match that answer. <laughs> <laughs> he's been a great uncle all my life. How long have you been doing this show? Uh, eight months. Great. It's awesome. Yeah. It's almost sold out. Well, I, yeah, I think it technically Those is. Seats. Well, Those yeah. seats. Those seats. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to end it, unfortunately. But I okay. do want to say, you know, like I said, my dad's doing the show with me. You got your mom. I want to bring you back in September, November, and with your mom, and we'll do a little. I love it. I, she, she would love yeah, it. Yeah. She loves to perform. Yeah. But she actually lives That's like a block away from you. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do it. Yeah. Well, Seth, thanks for doing it, guys. Today was an awesome show. I got to say, thanks for. Thank you so much, everybody. Mike! <laughs> Fucking Mike pun working. Okay. <laughs> I gotta ask you something, man. I gotta ask you something. No. <laughs> All these shows you worked on, yeah. is the reason you kept bouncing around so much because you kept getting fired for threatening arson? Uh, maybe. <laughs> well, that explains it. You're fired from the show, and uh, good luck to you, sir. Is, uh... The Chelsea Handler show? I don't know. Firing? I don't know. Go find out. Is she like, is she like arson? <laughs> I don't think anyone likes arson. 
Derek, let me let me see some of that. No, get 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 the gas man out of here. Derek Bauer, Seth Herzog, John Hassel, Arthur Meyer, Jen Stadsky, Justin Fink, Christine King, the Boots.